Okay, here, uh, this is Novell Filer, um, our beta, and I'm going to show you how to do the, use the new branding functionality to change the header. So, notice um, I'm logged in, and I can sign out, and it comes, what you're seeing is the standard branding that, uh, that Filer ships with. And so, I'll go ahead and log in. Once I'm logged in, I can go to the administrative console, administration console. And once I'm in the administration console, down on at the second bottom to the list, you'll have site branding. If I select site branding, you'll notice that it's um, selected the Novell file or uh, branding image that it's using, and that image right there is the one that shows up in the upper corner. So a simple way to rebrand is basically just to use images. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, use no, no image in the upper part here. And I'm going to select my own uh, background image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload those. I'm going to bring that over here. And I'm going to upload a couple files. So I'm going to browse to get um, this. Um, RCP1, open that one, RCP that one, let's get a couple more here, that one, and one more, Ooh, got it, and I'm going to upload those files, okay, so now, uh, in any of these lists, those ones that I've just uploaded will show up in the list to um, be able to be used in any position in the branding. So I'll go ahead and turn that off again. And I'm going to select a background of the buildings one. Right there. And you'll notice also that I can control the sign-in dialog as well right now. So I'll go ahead and change that as well to this login image that I've created and I'll say OK. And so you'll see immediately um, the branding header uh, changes. Now I, I need to uh, refresh and what happens is when I refresh it will size to the actual image size and, or at least the height. And so what I've done is I've put in a new uh, branding image and I already had uh, my new company name in there and so simply by changing the image I can change the the branding look of Novell Filer. You'll notice also that the action buttons that are in the header they always they stay to the bottom of the height of the the header so no, no matter whatever image you put in that's where the uh, your action buttons will go. They'll always stay at the bottom of the header. And now if I go in and look at the uh, sign-in dialog here, it also has the new header on there. And so I can sign in. And that is a quick way to use uh, to rebrand the filer. Now there's also, if you notice, I'll move my uh, thing over here. The size of my image that I put in there is only 120 uh, or 1200 pixels wide. And so when it gets to the end of the image, you'll see that um, it goes to gray. If you want to be, that to be a seamless image, all you have to do is just sample this color on the end of your image. So I've got this little tool here that I can use the eyedropper right here. And I can go click on that, and it will actually give me the color right there. And when I go into the color picker, I can see that, that color that I've selected there. So I'll copy that, close that down. And so let's size that over now again so you can see the whole 
and I'll go back into the administrative console go down to uh, site branding you notice here that I can put in that background color right here so I'll go ahead and paste that or you can of course you can just click here and you can pick a color from a list of colors that we've uh, supplied there for you but I can go ahead and paste that color right there and you, you'll notice I get a sample of what it's going to look like as soon as I paste it and I can change the the text color as well if I say red that's the colors the text color that will be changed in the header but I want to keep that white so I'll just keep that there and say OK now I size the uh, image it doesn't matter how uh, wide the uh, the branding uh, or the browser window goes it, there's a seamless uh, feeling right there because it's just taking that end color and just making that the background so now you, you get a nice seamless look for your header uh, get this all centered again for you here so now, if I um, there's another way you can um, brand if you have if you want to have a separate background. And so if we go back into the site branding. Um, I'll go ahead and use advanced instead of um, just an image. And so I'm going to change. I've got another image right here that is just the buildings only. So I can click that and say OK. You notice know, it's just the buildings. And so I've got a nice image there, but really no um, name of my company or anything like that. So let me go back into the site branding. If we use advanced branding and you open up this little editor, I can type in whatever company I want this to be. So I could say XYZ company, and I can select all that. And give it a size that I want. And then when I just uh, get that, I want to make this white. So I'll click white and say OK. And as soon as I say OK for the branding, it's going to put that right in there. Now, OK, that's nice, but um, I want to I want to position that text a little a little differently. So this um, advanced branding dialog gives you the ability to apply any style uh, CSS styles that you want so if you see this I still have my XYZ company there it's white so I can't see, so I can't see it there but so if I go into this HTML editor I can actually see the HTML that's here and so I'll just clean this up I'm gonna make this uh, I'm gonna change instead of a paragraph I'm gonna make it a div I'm gonna just Put all the style on the div just to clean all this up. Get rid of that span. Just make the file size as part of the div. I'm going to change that to the file size here to say um, 28 pixels. And then I can get rid of these other spans on the other side and change that paragraph to a div. Now I want to add some uh, margin here, so I'm going to just add a CSS style of margin left of, say, um, 150 pixels. And I want to bring it off the top a little, so I'll say margin top of about 15 pixels. And if I update that and say OK, OK in the branding, it, it took on those uh, CSS styles that it moved it over looks like 150 pixels and down 15 and so you can go back in and and continue to edit that if you want and over here so go here go back into editing HTML and I, I want that to maybe come over a little bit more so I'll say uh, change the margin left to 200 and I'll go top maybe about 20 Five pixels. Say OK, 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 and there it is. And so I'm I'm using a background and 
the advanced um, CSS styling to create new brand new for my um, Novell file.